I swear the still name brand is like crack cocaine to some people. <laughs> they just, oh, I gotta have it. I gotta have it. <laughs> oh, the elusive MS-170. <laughs> I'm here at a gas station. It's uh, 8.39 in the p.m. And uh, we got a guy who just got to have this uh, steel MS-170 because it's a steel. And uh, clearly, they're the best chainsaws ever made. And uh, he just had to have this one here. I have it listed for $125. It was given to me. I didn't do anything to it but put an air filter in it. That was like $4. <laughs> and I listed it for 125 bucks. People have been contacting me like crazy. When can I come? Right now. Come on. I can't be there till tomorrow. Well, you'll have to get it tomorrow. And then this guy, he's like, 90. I replied back, 125. He replied back, 100. I replied back, 125. He replied back, 110. I replied back, 125. And he said, hmm, okay. <laughs> People are dumb as hell. These little saws are just shit. <laughs> if you're watching this video, you probably know it, but it's got that name on there, Steel, and they love to say it. They love to go, oh, German engineering. Ah, uh, whatever. Bullshit. It ain't German engineering. It's German marketing. German marketing. That's what's going on. Because <laughs> if you think that a Steel MS-170, for 125 bucks, mind you, right? It's well used. Got a husk bar and a bar on it. <laughs> Uh, I mean, it works good. You know, it works fine. But if you think this piece of crap is worth $125, then you don't know anything about sauce. So, I mean, I got my Poland Pro 335 for 40 bucks, And it is three times the saw that this is. Now, granted, that was a really good deal on that Poland. But it had been up there for a while, and nobody was biting on it. I've got them for that before too, you know. I, I mean, I've got them similar, similarly priced. It's just here in the United States, for some reason. Well, not some reason. I know it's marketing, right? They've done great. Steel has done a fantastic job, and there's nothing wrong with an MS-170. It is what it is. It's a cheap saw for homeowners that just need a little something, right? But I do believe it's made in China. Um, it's all plastic, and uh, I mean, sure, it's a, it's a step above the really cheap, um, the really cheap like Polands or the Ryobis. Yes, it's a step above that, um, but it is not a step above the Chinese chainsaw, the the actual Chinese clone saws. Anyways, this is a little just a little fun video. And look at this, I got I just got another message about this saw. I swear, man, I've had it online for all of like two and a half hours. And I've received probably 15 different people trying to get this saw. It's crazy. It's the dumbest thing in the world. Whereas my Husqvarna 257, I had two people contact me about that. One person was like, is it available? Yeah. Never heard from him again. The other person... I'm coming to get it. So, and you know, it took like three weeks for it to sell. This is taking three hours for a piece of crap little MS-170. <laughs> Anyways, uh, but this is how I get this hobby to pay for, for, pay for itself. I got the uh, 257 Husqvarna for 50 bucks. And usually I don't buy stuff at all unless it's a good deal. I don't do it. I'm all I'm stacked up with chainsaws. I don't need to buy a chainsaw, but if I find one for 50 bucks, I'll buy it. So I bought that 50 bucks, and um, I'm, I got an eye out for my guy whenever he shows up. 50 bucks for the Husqvarna. 
spent 25 bucks on it, a little bit of elbow grease, sold it for 150 and he gave me this. He said it had been straight gassed. I got it home, turned the switch on, fired it one time, and it fired right up. It runs great. It runs great. It's got good power for what it is and everything. And uh, I, the only thing I can chalk it up to is still stupid design on the uh, on-off switch. You know, he had it turned in the wrong position. Had it turned off and he kept pulling it. <laughs> Anyways, quick little video. There you go. Oh, by the way, okay, yeah. So, $50 for the Husqvarna. Spent $25 on it. Sold it for $150. I'm $75 to the good. Got this one for free. Selling it for $125. And so that means I'm $200 to the good right away. So, well, that's pretty sweet if you ask me. And this is how the hobby pays for itself with me. Um, I don't always score like this, but I do. Anyways, that's enough. Talk to you later.